Redeemer case. Pew pew. <laughs> I had fun making this. Click the thing. Give me the shooty shotgun. No! <laughs> Come on, give me the thing! <laughs> the funny thing is I actually programmed the odds to be the same as CSGO's and... It just, it just, it's killing me here. This is, this is, this is brutal reality. I have gotten the secret sniper a few times. I have not gotten, I have not gotten the knife. I have gotten the, I have gotten the, not the op. <laughs> but I, I keep getting the fucking blue. Oh, the knife! Oh, 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 oh! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> How could this have happened? <laughs> we were so close. We gotta keep gambling. <laughs> uh, come on. <laughs> come on. I'll even take the red. I'll take the red. No! I was so close. I was so close to the sniper. Okay, by the way, whenever you whenever you see the knife and it like goes past or something, it's actually completely irrelevant. It's not like all right, just a FYI on how gambling well slot machines work. Um because TSGO is effectively it's a it's a slot machine, all right? Whenever you click the button to unbox, it's already decided what you get. Like the whole thing, the visual thing is just to get you excited. And to get your gambler's mentality in the flow state, like, uh, like, uh, oh, I saw the thing, like, oh, I was so close. That that that's the point. Like, uh, the outcome is actually already decided when you open the case. Um, and if you're like, I don't believe him, look up uh, CS:GO X-ray cases, or the fact that you can literally open the case without doing the visual nonsense at all. Um, yeah, the the visual is just to psychologically tricky to opening more cases but i mean hey it works I mean, they, they, they wouldn't have it if it didn't work <laughs> you know so it is cool to be like oh i'm so close um, and i code mine the same way it, it, it's not actually based off the wheel because legally like you know and it's not and it's not like a it's not like a oh well is it like what's it called is it like easier to do it that way than to do it by the wheel like you know is like is it just up to the developer to implement it one way or another actually by the gaming rules, uh, you have to legally uh, generate the outcome like immediately at the beginning. Like it can't be determined during the, the visual. Like, um, if I'm not mistaken, I, I could be wrong actually about that point, but I know that generally when it comes to this kind of thing, if I'm not mistaken, it is legal. And if it's not that they all do this anyways, um, that the outcome is generated the second you, you put the money in and click go. Uh, like the second you the second you click the spin button or whatever it, it, it is outcomes decided um, And it's the same way with my code that I wrote here uh, the way it the way it works is They're like wait a minute. Then how do you get it to land on the thing you got? Well, that's you know, I'm a good coder, right? So how did I do that? Um, what I do is I put the item that you got right so what happens is you click the thing and whenever you click the spin it will simulate uh like okay so it, it, you see these item displays right um these item displays i think there should be 15 of them uh, because that's the number that i set uh here in the item display for the case opener right and it's just what it does is it simulates 15 of these case openings uh every time you do a spin so you do a spin it'll simulate 15 other spins and just give the result of that spin and set each one of the images each one of the items to that and then on your spin that you actually did, what it'll do is whenever, like I have it so it'll just spin at a fixed speed for three seconds. And then after those three seconds are over, it will place the item you did get at the furthest to the right. So if you've seen the scene here, because there, there are more items, but I'm just doing a UI mask. Um, the last item will be set to the item that you actually won. And then I have code that well, you, you know, this is technically zero on the x-axis, and this is like whatever, some you know, positive number on the x-axis. And what it does is it will, uh, what's it called? My brain cells. Uh, as this item, the item you got, gets closer to it, the speed of the machine goes slower to make it so it always lands on 
the one that you got. And you're like, wait a minute, how do you make it so it doesn't land exactly the middle of it? So what I do is the actual spot where it's decided to land um, is the center of it, right? And then I add, and then I get the, the uh, what's it called, half the width, and it, I add, I, I calculate a random value between negative of half the width and positive of half the width, and then add that to it to create an offset so the bar can end anywhere within the range. It's forced to land, it generates a value within the range of the width of the item, right? And then the bar is forced to land at that width by um, becoming slower the closer it is to it. And then you're like, wait a minute, wouldn't it never reach zero? And yeah, you're right, it doesn't reach zero. I guess maybe I was either lazy about it, but it doesn't really matter because you can't tell. And the visual thing, it doesn't really matter that much because it's, again, it's not decided by where the line lands. The line, wherever, like the line, if it's like bugged, for example, and the line, like magically the code happens, like I have no idea, right? Magically the line actually lands like right next to the sliver of the other one and it visually looks like I, I, I messed it up visually and the size of it's not actually proper. Um, it, it would still give you the actual item that was generated at the beginning, right? It's not like, oh, it, it glitched out and then it, it reads the one that it landed on. It doesn't read the one it landed on at all. It doesn't affect it, right? But given that you set the distance, uh, like set the width of each of the uh, item frames properly and it generates that random number between that range. So then as it gets closer to it, it gets slower. So it basically gets infinitely slower, the infinitely closer it gets to it. And then what I do is if the, if the, like basically that, if that velocity, if that distance, I guess it's not really velocity, it's probably rename it to distance, like how much it's moving every frame. If how much it's moving every frame is less than, like I just chose 10 arbitrarily because it looks good in the game. Because if I set it too low to be like, well, I want it to get closer to zero, like moving, uh, moving zero, um, I guess in Unity it's meters, but like not really. Like uh, zero, I'll just say zero units per frame. Um, if I get it closer to zero, you, it'll like it'll look like a, a, it's almost not moving because the UI scaling is a bit off. Like the UI scaling is like a thousand times what you'd expect like a normal meter to be, right? So uh, it's just like a unity thing right and i set it to 10 so if you're traveling like like uh, to give you a frame of reference each of these is 170 in height and 200 in width if i'm not mistaken yeah 170 in height and 200 in width and what happens is uh i simply say i'm saying like hey if you're traveling only that like a width of like 10 every frame then just like stop and it visually looks like as if it's already like practically stopped, right? Um, and this makes it so it stops on the one that you got, right? Pretty cool, pretty cool. And it's kind of addictive, even though it's not actually giving me anything. I could just, just imagine the actual game of CSGO where these values, act, where, the, where the value of the item is actually the real value of, of an actual item that you can you know, pay money for that just enhances the gambling experience um, even more when, it, when it's actually when you're when you're actually gaming, when you're actually spending real money and you know getting real money out of it, that's usually less than what you put in. But you know that's that's just the math, you know. Uh, but pretty cool. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something about slot machines.